Hey everyone and welcome back to part 5 of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Oh, they're creepy, I don't like them. Last time, if we look in the remember all, we got Ginny's scales in the Magical Menagerie. We got Ginny's quill in Gamble and Japes. Gamble and Japes. And we got the potion vial from the Apocathery. <laughs> and now today, we are doing the unholy godless task of going to get Ginny's spillow tape in the leaky cauldron. Remember, don't look Hagrid directly in the eyes and just... Don't do it. You think it, the leaky cauldron, the fireplace, would be like down here? And you think you'd have a more heartwarming reunion with Hag Harry Hagrid? That he's just like, all right, I got a problem with Freshie and Slugs. I don't know how to do a Hagrid impression. I don't like it. You know, look at me, Hagrid. This is the only place that's well lit, and it's it's not you. <laughs> the door's locked. <laughs> Try! <laughs> press. Is this man locked? You can press A to try. The leaky cauldron. Is this the leaky cauldron? Oh, I agree. Did I tell you, I've been having a bit of trouble lately with flesh eating slugs. <laughs> I don't know whether to laugh or scream. There's more than butter beer down in the cellar, you know, Mr. Potter. <laughs> There's more than butterbeer down in the cellar, you know, Mr. Potter. <laughs> Mr. Potter! <laughs> it's... It, it's so creepy. And it, 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 it's, it, but it's the... Ah! I actually get baited. No, you actually get baited. This man tries to kidnap a child. That's actually what it is. Oh my god, we've unraveled some kind of secret plot. By the owner of the leaky cauldron to some master evil villain plan to lock children down in the cellar with the promise of more than butterbeer. I had butterbeer when uh, I remember going to the the Universal Studios tour in um, that resemble crabs. They do not look like crabs. Shut up. These these next enemies that shoot fire on their butts do not look like crabs. I'm gonna pause, I don't like any of this. Uh, they are merciless to milk. Through the open wine bar or to a partially hidden area and find the C he apostrophe S T People who do IGN wikis, they just need to be looked after. So climb through the partially open. So that's this one. You would never think of that. And it's in here, is it? Oh no, it's um, it's a card. Okay. Number twenty-seven, Mirabella Plunkett. Famous for falling in love with a merman in Loch Lomond while on holiday. When her parents were, she transfigured herself into a haddock. And was never seen. Why into a haddock? No, I'm I'm saying why into a haddock? Is this it? I just got baited. Head to the area where two slots. And okay, step off to the right side. This is no. This is unfair. This is actually so unfair. No. Why does he? Why do you drop so many? Okay, this walkthrough just makes everything a lot easier because it makes the impossible to understand possible to understand. It turns the possible, it turns the impossible possible. You, you feel me? Shit, it got stuck in an area. Okay, this door. You have to. Oh, Harry nearly dies. Oh yeah, I was I was just gonna say sorry, I got distracted. I remember having butterbeer at the Universal 
Studios. Har- I think I don't think it's Universal, but the Harry Potter tour in the UK, where you can go there and there's a bunch of the sets. You know, really liked that. Uh, they've added like the the forest, like with Aragog and all the others, and all like the spider set and the Hogwarts Express. So I would go back there again. But Butterbeer did not taste like when it says Butterbeer. It is a. It's like fizzy. <sighs> I remember just not liking it. We it had a bit of like nice. I think the form was the only nice bit, in it, but the actual drink tasted like shit. Uh, you're supposed to slide a lot of wall sneak along here. Is this Metal Gear Solid? Like, because there was a sneaking section, but when it meant wall sneak, it really did mean wall sneak. How- Why do you have to run forward to? D- Am I stuck? Uh, can I not get out? Can I not leave? Oh, there's a ladder. A ladder that is so two dimensional from far away that you could never even tell. Well, the camera is awful. Uh, yeah, it literally is like two dimensional from far away. <laughs> yeah, the camera is, is awful in every way. It, it's too stiff to move because I, I know a lot of people say when they're reviewing games like controls are floaty they're stiff no, no one know what are floaty controls you no one knows what they actually mean I'm gonna just you have to move really shortly but it, it it's slow is the camera oh, Jesus Christ Harry pushed down the box with the fucking force of an Olympian. Is, is this Harry Potter? Is this Hercules? Let go. Grab up. Yay. More Bertie Bottas beans. There'll probably be some kind of bot. If this is what the game is like, what is fighting the Basilisk going to be like, honestly? I hope we never have to meet the creepy weird bartender. And why does, why does it fly over? right to the edge to the point where it falls off what kind of object physics is this who programmed this game this is so awful Dude, i was sick because i think I, I thought like oh lumos i thought like ages ago i was gonna do ever since i saw like ca- uh where I, I'm gonna check that I've just not missed out on um on summer. Where standard box portion? Uh... <laughs> it's so awful. Like the grammar on certain wo- the grammar's awful in this walkthrough. IGNs uh, just don't deserve the the free promotion. Quite frankly, <laughs> that I'm giving them. Oh. No, he actually maliciously... Okay, no, this is where I'm supposed to go. He actually maliciously traps you. Is there, like, wizards? The Leaky Cauldron Cellar is a great place to explore, Mr. Potter. You tried to kill me, absolute fuckwit. There are... There are... I tell you. I tell you. I didn't save you at Diagon Alley, Harry, because I'm, tr- I'm trying to get you killed, you see? Alright, it's... <laughs> that was a funny noise. Um... Oh, Diagon Alley, finally we get out of that fucking absolute hellhole. Diagon Alley is creepy. Can we go to Hogwarts, please? Yeah, anyway, <laughs> anyways. Ever since I saw um, Cadicarus's video on Harry Potter and the Philosopher's uh, stone, like the PS1 game, because, you know, he, he does PS1 sometimes. I, I thought, because he basically said only, like, he said this one was God, he remembered it being God, and then I think he said one other was, like, okay, and then just the rest, um, aren't even worth it. They're not, they, they aren't worth enough to buy, to throw in the bin. So I thought, you know, how about, hello. All your things, Ginny. Yes, and I nearly died doing it, oh, you Harry, ungrateful so boot. No, really. It was 
was nothing. It was something! Stop for Where's he falling his arms? Can we just see Guild Royal Art Card and get his day over? Where was he then? Would you like to come with us, Harry? Oh, well, I've got... Uh, well... Okay, then. Thanks. <laughs> Fine. Let's go inside! <laughs> She's just... <laughs> they're not even snacked. They're, like, hovering on top of each other. They didn't even... Why Why did he look so, like, weird? Weird? Lots of flourish and blood. Okay, see, so yeah, I thought about, oh, since all the Harry Potter games are shitting off on the robots. How about I do reviews on them, and I think this game would be primed for review. This is awful. I, I mean, it's funny, but the game is awful. At least the start of it is awful, and the start is arguably the most important point. Because if it's terrible, if the start is terrible, who wants to... God, is that... No, sure. Oh my God, someone who actually looks correct. Harry Potter! And he sounds well as well. Why is there so much still coughing? Gentlemen, this is the perfect moment for me to make an important announcement. I have great pleasure in announcing that this term, I will be taking up the post of Defense Against the Dark Arts teacher at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Why did he need to say the whole name of the school? Why does Draco look dead? Bet you loved that, didn't you, Potter? Famous Harry Potter. Can't even go into a bookshop without making the front page. There was no. nothing! He didn't want all that. Potter's got a girlfriend! <laughs> I suppose your parents will go hungry for a month to pay for all the books you're going to need at Hogwarts. <laughs> but, well, take this one. It's the least I can do to help out the poor and needy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Let me give you some coaching, Harry. Fame is a fickle friend. I thought he said fork instead of fickle. Be careful how you play the fame game, so to speak. Be sparing with your public appearances at first, and watch the company you keep. Harry! Why, I remember the time when I was writing my second bestseller, Gadding with Cools. Harry, we've missed the train! I believe the more exposure I got in the press, the better my career would progress. <laughs> Miss the train? Trouble was, I became overexposed. Yes! The Hogwarts Express left five minutes ago! And it wasn't until I went mysteriously missing for three weeks! Oh no! What are we going to do? Subsequently leaking the story to the Prophet... Well, I know that Dad took the flying car to work this morning. It's parked in Charing Cross Road. That I'd been captured by trolls in the wilds of stockton on Tees. Okay. It's our only chance of getting to school on time. That I managed to regain my former prominent position as the world's most popular wizard. Harry? Oh. Okay. His voice got worse as it went on, but I'm, I am comparing it to the movies. As sort of not thinking about the movies, that was a that was a good performance of Lockhart. But let not just stop. I just want to digest everything that's just happened. First of all, the making the front page bit that never happened. Why you would put that line there didn't happen. There was no camera. There was not. He just went into. It was a pretty empty fucking book signing. There was no. Um, I think it's the Daily Prophet is the only newspaper. It. Okay, a bomb just went off. That was a joke. Uh, but some a loud bang just happened. It's probably construction. Uh, I think it's time for the weekly. Um, the pipes have fucking exploded and they need to sort them out. Around here. Get, <laughs> I'm getting a little way off track. But they did take his picture with Lockhart. Pretty empty book signing, by the way. And it wasn't really all that. He was just like, oh, Harry Potter. I'm going to explain to you how to be famous. You know, all of that was fine. But <laughs> Draco's performance was so bad. And his hair didn't look like slicked back. It looked kind of parted to one side. And his whole line, famous Harry Potter. Can't even go into a bookshop. Uh, can't even go into a bookshop without making the front page. He didn't make the front page. And it was it, I've just already repeated this. It wasn't all that. And Lucius Malfoy was so comically condescending. Like, I get that he's condescending because he's an arse. 
but it was so comical. Like, it wasn't real. It was like, oh, for the poor and needy. But that's a better excuse because it's like, oh, her parents are near, by the way. Uh, her brothers, uh, they fucked off and died. Fred and George, where are they? Um, he hands the book. That is a good excuse, that I think. But I, I think the, um, the sort of comment he makes in the film when Ginny sticks up for him, she sort of goes, leave him alone. And she's like, really? She's really mad. And he goes, oh, because she's got yourself go over and Potter. Like, he says something like that. That sounds more natural than, Harry's got a girlfriend. It, it's just not very good. Um, do I have any other grievances with that scene? That was kind of... If that's what the dialogue reactions are going to be, then fuck, fuck me. I want to see Dumbledore. Like, I want to see what... Ready to go to Hogwarts, Harry? Ready to go to Hogwarts? No, Ron, Am I'm I ever? really not sure about this. We've got to get to school, haven't we? <laughs> it sounds we like a jet plane! We just to magic if it's a real emergency. Section 19 or something of the uh, re restriction thingy. Stop. You're sure you can fly it okay? What's it look like? I'm doing all right, aren't I? It's about to crash yeah, in the I suppose. So far. No, this is giving me fungiferous flora flashbacks. No, I don't want anything to do with mushrooms. My video game career that is related to do with mushrooms is over. Is there actually going to be a thing in the Whomping Willow? <laughs> Ron's dead? Oh my god! Oh my... Oh my god. He's really showing. I'll come and get you. Just hold on. Okay, the one thing. Can't do anything else. Hurry up, Harry. <laughs> You're fucking demanding, aren't you? It's just the thunder and lightning in the backyard. <laughs> but that's all for the next episode. Oh, and I was gonna say, um, if I can. Shit, I had it on on my mind, but I've forgotten it now. Um. Fuck, I've forgotten. Uh, 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 oh, yes, yes. The fact that they don't go to Platform 9 and 3 quarters and they just miss the Hogwarts Express with all the shit that Harry's had to do, like, he's had to, he had to go through about four dungeons. <laughs> four, four people's... Four individual people's dungeons. I fucking believe that they miss the train but also didn't harry didn't shouldn't that mean draco and Ginny weasley Ginny wesley have missed the train express also but i guess that doesn't really matter anyways next time on harry potter and the chamber of secrets on gamecube we're gonna be going into this fucking whomping willow i'm probably gonna stop playing now because this is uh this has just fucking blown my mind, and I need a, a, a minute to recover. So we will probably start at Hogwarts. No, we'll probably we'll probably start at Diagon Alley. We might start here because it's just a cutscene away that I can probably just skip. You never know. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching, and I'll be seeing you all in the next video. Goodbye.